welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com and I'm here to share with you some tips and tricks relating to the Stampin' Up! Eastern Palace product suite and what amazing products are within that suite. Um, I used many of those products to create these very clean and simple cards and the foundation uh, is the Eastern Medallions dies as well as the Eastern Beauty stamp set and they are designed to work together the Eastern Beauty stamp set is full of photopolymer it's a little larger than is on the front um, but you can see that it coordinates with many of these different dies which is super cool and then the dies are amazing because unlike anything else that I've personally seen you can do a lot of mixing and matching so for example I used this die to create this die cut hopefully you can see that okay on this background it just creates this insert you can use a circle die if you want to crop further around the outside or you can just use it as kind of this inlaid design but where it gets super interesting is when you start to layer the dies and mix and match so I've got my Big Shot magnetic platform I'll turn it this way so you can see on the bottom I'm gonna put an acrylic plate down a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to layer this face down. The magnetic platform is wonderful, especially in situations like this where I need to keep things in place. And then I'm going to choose, I can choose a number of different options, but I'm going to choose this ring and put it on the inside and just centering it, just making sure that the gap is even all the way around. And I'm going to actually use that just a little bit. It's hard, I'm working from an angle. And then I'm going to center this one. I think that's pretty close and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then I'm going to put an acrylic plate on the top. And I'm going to bring my big shot and zip it through and I will show you the amazing results. And like I said, you can mix and match and choose some of those other dies as well. So it's kind of die cutting in triplicate. So now you're going to have all these different options. Okay, see how that cut in three different ways? And I can certainly use my die brush to get these out. They'll pop right out, but to save you a little time, I will show you what the end result will look like. So here's what it looked like with just the first one. And then here's what the total wow you get in triplicate. And that's the die I actually used for this card. I just cropped it with a circle die uh, to free it, I guess, from the square, and then cut it in half and layer it on each side. And then for this card, I used this marvelous sentiment, let's be friends forever. And then this floral is also one of the dies that I cropped. It's this die and I just used it on its own. Now it doesn't cut all the way through in the center. Um, as a matter of fact it crops the outside and then it scores the inside so that you actually can pull up each of the petals and have a fluttery finish. I opted to just layer uh, the sentiment. I used a punch to crop that out. But again, I can mix and match and use different dies to create a really unique and special die cut. So thanks for joining me for my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. If you have any questions relating to this product or Stampin' Up, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube and I'll promptly get back to you. Bye-bye.